I'm in the mood for some highbrow choreography critique. Where's that Hardy when you need her? Hardy! You are matching our cushions today. I do, I do. I do feel Look a bit of a cushion esque oh. moment here. Are you sure you didn't take a cushion and make that skirt out of it? Um, let's... One I made earlier. <laughs> Look at our couple's performances from another great weekend of dancing. We're going to start with Anita and Gleb. Yep. All eights across the board. Um, she said, uh, Len said she's a great all rounder, but she's not got to the top of the leaderboard yet. How can she do that and make that happen, Karen? She's not a great all rounder. Oh. She's a dynamic diva on this dance Ooh. floor. And I am sorry, Good. judges. Yeah. They've got to wake up. Yeah. It's not about Gleb anymore. We know he's our new professional. Yeah. It's incredible. This piece of choreography I've picked up here, the constant shape changing, the rolling of the top line, she sticks to him like glue. The choreography Gleb has given Anita from yeah. the word go has been incredible. And I would really like to see the marks going up much higher. I don't feel she's been rewarded enough. And I'm putting my foot down you now. You say it, We're Harley. over halfway, and yeah. I'm a woman on a mission this week. Okay. That is sensational. Well done, Anita. Yes. Well done. I feel better with getting she that out of that my system now. Knocked out. I know. Jay and Aliona and their foxtrot. Now, the judges gave yep. them an eight. Craig went for a six. Mm. Um, he described the performance as a little bland. Was he being a bit harsh there? Well, I don't know if he's being harsh. I'm hoping he's being cruel to be kind, okay? Because this dance, the foxtrot, is equivalent to the difficulties of the rumba. It's the power of the slows. You've got to be able to control the slows with ease and balance and make it look easy. Um, what we would say is if he performed like this, let's say in the final, mm -hmm. there's not a strong chance of him winning. So okay. what I'm saying here is I'm hoping Craig was saying, listen, great what you've done, definite improvement mm -hmm. in his presentation personality, but Come on, let's rev it up even more if we want to see you in the final. Okay, come yep. on, Jay. He'll put, he'll bring it. He will. Yes. Adriana and Tristan in the dance off yet again. I salute them. They've been there so many times. It's yep. quite incredible. They survive every week. Um, Craig said she was dancing with bent legs in the samba, um, and he didn't see one straight leg without you pulling your sleeves up. You have stuff to say. Can I have my Joe Collins shoulder pads on. <laughs> the legs are meant to be bent in there the samba. We go. They are to be bent. Yes. This woman was fabulous. The only thing I would ask her to do, yeah. look, she's bending all the way through on the classic steps. But from here on in, it's as though she gets nervous, so she starts looking down and the selling of the performance. Okay. What I would say to Jamelia, you are great. You are doing it right. You are on a roll. Just keep your personality and sell the dance. Whether it's a foxtrot, a tango, a samba, believe in yourself and get that personality out that we know she can do. Yeah, she has it. Sell yes. it, Jamelia. We'll Sell catch it. up with her and Tristan <laughs> very, very soon. Helen and Aliash and their tango. <gasps> Lots of content this week, so Len was thoroughly happy. What did you like? <gasps> There's so much I love. Now, we talk about tick boxes. They've, mm -hmm. got, they've got the contact together, they've got the top line, they've got a lovely staccato action, strong footwork, and now we talk about footwork. I had to say it at that moment because look at this slow down. Oh. Can you see Ooh, the dragging, the dragging. Of that foot? But oh. now, when we're talking about tick boxes, and I, and I like to say, the public at home, they're all going to be looking for that gapping, the top line, those things mm -hmm. we talked about. She's in another league again. She's not stomping across the floor. She's dragging the feet now, which keeps her down, gives her contact with her partner. It gives it more musical interpretation. You know, these are the things that you're not going to see. You're not meant to see them, but it adds to the whole production. And I caught that little gem right there, and I needed to share it. This was Fabulous. Well done. God, they're all so good. <laughs> You're very excitable. Today. I am. Um, Katie and Anton scored 31 for their rumba, their highest score for a Latin dance in the competition. So well done to them. They've previously struggled a bit with the Latin. What's changed in Katie? Because this was a great yeah. performance. This is incredible. It's all down to the power of the choreography. Yeah. You get it wrong and it will go against you. This was beautiful. Simple thing here, like an opening out to left and right. She's got exquisite legs and they double time it. So what, this is a classical lady. I, uh, the first moment I saw her dance, her beautiful back in the top line of ballroom, and what we have in Latin are these exquisite legs. She stands like a lady. The legs are always beautifully placed. I see you readjusting your I legs. I did. Do you I'm see that? Here. I'm like this. Right. Oh gosh. Yes, yes ladies, I just, I we want should the always legs. have our legs. Yeah. 
beautifully presented. She's a classical lady, so you don't want to overkill the choreography, mm -hmm. but you need to keep her moving and oozing on the dance floor. And it was fabulous. And the song as well. The song was a beautiful it's a song. Favorite. It was it's a It's a favourite of mine. OK, Kelly and Kevin. Uh, Craig decided, hurrah, that he loved the hip-hop meets the samba fusion. Uh, Darcy and Len, Len wasn't quite as convinced. Um, do you like these alternate takes on a dance? Right. Here we go again. Um, all the change that happened in this was it was an alternate take on the fashion. Yeah. When you look at it, the dance is pure Latin. We've got natural rolls, we've got opening, uh, we've got whisks, we've got yeah. vaulters, we've got all the classic steps, beautiful bent legs. So I was really surprised with Darcy and Len at yeah. their comments because actually the hip hop action just brought it to a whole new level and said, We've been different, we're new, come on, bring the game on. And that's what I love about these two. And there's another step that I picked up oh, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. the bachacada. Oh. Now, look, a lovely slow action of it. And, and look what they're doing. They're just giving it a hip-hop action. So I thought, well, look at it. I thought we'll get everybody at home come doing on. Is it a bachacada. <laughs> Are we ready? Now, cameraman, you're going to oh. start at my gorgeous ankles today. Oh, All thanks, right. Carol. All nice right, work, it goes Carol. wrong as we head further up. But we're going to start at the bottom there. Bachacada is about pushing into the floor, and as the camera moves up, oh, he's a good boy. He's a good today. boy, Carol. Tim, you're on Very form. good boy. All right, so we roll. Oh, through this. Right. Right. All right, Ooh. so we get the pushing and the rolling. Now, all you do is you add this, you know, at my age, we yeah. can still get a bit of hip hop in yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, oh, at my age. Age. Come on. Bring it on. That's what oh, I say. That was, I can't <laughs> enjoy that a little bit too much over there, I think. So um, I don't think there's anything wrong with yeah. stepping outside the box okay. and having Do fun. It. it was brilliant. Uh, Peter and Jeanette, and their via needs walls. Len said it was good, but he said to get a 10, you've got to do something extremely special. Now, what was missing, if anything? Very simple. Yeah. He's got to be a man. He's got to be a man. He's got to be a man. Andre. Look at this. He's looking at Jeanette all the way through this performance. Yeah. I've been watching it for a while. This guy is an incredible performer. He's an amazing dancer. The relationship, you know, I'm very pro them. I love what they're doing. But be a man. Stop looking at her. He's got to be the leader on the dance floor. Right. He's got to show her the way oh. around the dance floor. Okay. So what I want to see and what maybe Len's looking for and some of the others, he's got to be the leader. He's got to take control. He's got to initiate the moves and let Jeanette be the gorgeous lady that just whisks around him and makes him look even greater than he already is. Okay, and Georgia and Giovanni to finish with. So brilliant. This Charleston, it was just incredible. It made me cry. I loved it so much. <laughs> uh, what was just so good about this? There's so much. She must have been a, a Charleston lady in her previous life. This was incredible. This is what we've got to pick up on, haven't we? Woo! Not only over the top, a backflip. Then she keeps dancing Charleston, and we think it's all over, and whoop, we're up <laughs> and over again. Look at this. And I've carried it going a little bit more. She's got the character she's got the isolation she's got the footwork and on top of it all she's got the fossey she she's has. got the fossey all the way for me this was the dance where she came out of her shell and she actually started to perform okay. and dance Brilliant. completely loved it this great week great show. So exciting. bring it on and now to blackpool karen yes. is back with us next week <laughs> oh. Oh. but don't go anywhere just yet earlier on you saw the rigorous audition process so now it's time to debut my new sidekick in Cheers on Tuesday. You ready for this, Karen? I am. Good luck. Welcome, Matt Music Woo! Lovers. Let's see what Gems our jukebox has for us this week. You ready for it? Here we go. Come on, Hardy. Bring it, lady. Do I just copy you? Oh, yes. The new oh. Is this it? Oh, that one. The, yeah, the frog crawl. Uh, this is the Tina Turner classic, River Deep, Mountain High. I feel a jive coming on, yeah? Jive coming. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know Tina Turner's real name is actually Anna Mae Bullock? Yeah. OK. Is this a jive? I'm not sure. I'm having some kind of attack. Uh, which means one of our couples will be jiving to this. Reveal yourselves, not you, them. Here we go. It's Peter and Jeanette. Are you excited about that? She's very excited. Right up. This is a real treat having you here, by the way. Uh, next up, let's hear it. Oh! 
It is Whitney Houston. It's a ballad. I have nothing. Uh, in I do have lots going on here. Uh, interestingly, Whitney's favourite subject at school was history. Karen, what was your favourite subject at school? Maths. Maths. <laughs> I knew there was something about you. Anyway, who will be getting themselves into a spin in this, to this, in, in Blackpool? Here they come, here they come. Oh, George and Giovanni. That is going to be a winner. Our last song. Here I am. Need oxygen. Here we go. Ah, oh, come on! It's the Working Woman's Anthem. 95 by Dolly Parton. Apparently, the sound of Dolly's nails rubbing together can be heard as part of the percussion on this song. Who is dancing to it? Let's find out. Here we go. It's all right, you just... Kenny and Kevin! So good. All right, carry on, Hardy. Keep working it. To find out what music the rest of our couples are dancing to, uh, head to Strictly's website. Uh, this weekend, Strictly goes top north to the home of Ballroom, which means we're in for a suitably special group dance. So we just carry on. Just carry on. This is like mum dancing. Yeah, come on.